and welcome. This is Sahara playing Pillars of Eternity, the White March. We were back in our keep, um, and this Lord was waiting for us when we got here. As I'm sure you are well aware, wealth has a way of birthing enemies. My fortress is beset by thieves. I'm sure one of the lesser nobles is after my treasury. This has the stink of jealousy upon it. It will be weeks before I can secure my holdings, and by then it will be too late, and I haven't the connections to hire mercenaries on short notice. And so I turn to you, my lady. Is there anything you can do? Make a stand, defend your keep. I'll see that these jealous rivals are dealt with. I cannot help you with this at the moment. Now, yep, number two. Marvelous, may I uh, inquire as to your intentions? I have missives sent to every noble in my lands. Letters, my lady, do you think that's sufficient? They'll, need, they'll heed my warning or be destroyed. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. I'm sure those nobles will see reason. I don't want to get rid of uh, a lot, a lot. No. Hmm. We can't afford to be at each other's throats. I'm sure these nobles will see reason. Of course, forgive me for ever doubting you. We are blessed to have someone suitable, sensible ruling at Keanua. Hmm. So that didn't do anything, did it? Let's see here. My lady, I have heard terrible things. I worried you would not return. Is it true that there are riots in Defiance Bay and that Eber Wolfgren has been slain? Yes. And I make this paper what he has done. It's true. How terrible, but I am glad that you are unharmed, my lady. I can only hope that the city recovers. And what's their state of the keep? Okay, so... Um, let's go ahead and release him. He's been there long enough. Um, we spoke to him. Unless he, hadn't, unless he didn't leave. Let's go ahead and release them. Um, is there anything else I can do? I can't. I can't make new people here. That's what I don't get. I can't make new people here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I do have all eight of them. Okay. No, there, I, I have one more missing. There's eight party members, I think, that you can acquire along the way. And I only have seven of them. All right. Um, so I when I came here, there's no way I could get to um, the Twin Elms. They, nothing was lit up. Hmm. Oh, I forgot I had the bounty. Um... He is in Elmshore. Yes, I need to take him to the warden. Okay. Let me go ahead and do that and get that out, that quest done. Maybe he'll have some more quests for me. And then I think we're going to go to the path. And then we have to do that other quest um, where that keep is I under. I must say, I'm impressed. Yeah, yeah, you guys keep saying that. <laughs> And then we're going to go to um, de to help defend that other keep. Craig Holt, I think it is, something like that. Last time we were there, they were just totally overwhelmed us. There were a lot of them. I've upgraded, or I've um, leveled up since then, I think at least once. Maybe tw uh, once. All right, let's see here. So let us tell him about the bounty. Good day, stranger. Uh, I took down the dweller. For the, to the relief of the merchants, I'm sure. Here's the coin they were offering. So I got 2,200 copper. We got experience. Anything else? What are the most recent bounties? That's all I have an offer right now. By the time you've claimed those, I ought to have received word of more 
targets. Okay. Okay, so that one's done. Your thoughts must flow deeply indeed. Oh, over here. Come on. Not as beautiful as the Anguithan ruins near my home, but your fortress is impressive in its own little way. Well, thank you so much. What the will holds? Okay, a few miles north of Kindle Vale sits a tiny village called White White Wreath. So small that it's often missed on maps and tax records. The village has little contact with the rest of the Deerwood. Despite its tiny size, the village has long history dating back to its use as a Ranfithian tribal camp over three centuries ago. One of the most important features of the community is a deep well, the top of which is made from a Wythian Adra. Though not of any religious significance to the Glanfithians, all who see it agree that the well is truly ancient. In recent years, locals have reported strange sounds from within the well. Some describe it as animal sounds, others as odd speaking in a foreign tongue. No one has dared venture down into the well, but villagers are becoming nervous about drawing water from it. Though the community has modest resources at their disposal, they have reached out to near my lords for assistance. Venturing into the depths of the white wreath well, Lurga discovered that while the foundations of the well were made of a, li of living, of a living Adra, the source of the sounds were witch, witch that had been dropped into the well by their mothers. Oh. In total, a dozen women from White Wreath and the surrounding woods had dropped their children into the well after they learned they would turn into wits. Some had died, but many survived the fall, living on small rodents and other critters that wandered the ruined in with the end tunnels under the well. Lurga was forced to fight the aggressive wits, but eventually emerged and told the village what had transpired. Some of the mothers confessed what they had done immediately. Others by the village. In the end, no one had the desire to punish anyone for what had happened. So we didn't get any money, but we got experience, and we ended up with a item, swaddling sheet. Oh my God! It's it's a <laughs> it's a cape. Grants recall agony. Recall agony. I'm sorry. Recall agony. Thirty percent of all damage reapplied over. Huh. And overwhelming wave when hit by a critical hit. Okay. This dingy stained cloak was once used as a large swaddling sheet for an, an unfortunate hollowborn child that was dumped into the white wreath village well. As it sat at the bottom of the well among the foundations of living Adra in the clan of wits, it acquired strange powers. Hmm, I'll say. Very strange powers indeed. Okay. Okay. So we are going over here. We're going to go down into the paths. Should We need to get to level 5. We're on level 4 at this time. <clears throat> so I'm going to go ahead and pause. Okay, so we are now on level 5 of the Endless Paths of Old Nua. Let's see what we can find here. Eh? Oh, right off the bat, we have a skirmisher. No. All right, let's get you. Like right there. Hi. <laughs> fighting. Um, 
Lots of stuff here. Sure. Yeah, what is this? Um, the alcoves have been lined with straw and bundles of feathers and fur. A, mus a musky reek lingers in the air. Where does this go? Is this how it came out? So there must be two very two different sets of stairs. Hmm. Because what I I came out over here. Oh, that's the master staircase. I see. Okay, that takes you up. I see. Um. We got champions. Dimensional shift, flame shield. Okay. You have a lot of good stuff here if I just use it. You have Triumph of the Crusaders and Hearts to Ally to Favor of Righteousness. And when an ally in the area of effect delivers a killing blow, his or her. Yep. That'll work. Okay. <clears throat> You're not chanting. I don't understand why he's not chanting anymore. She's been using her stuff. Where are you at? That you up there? Yes, it is. Okay. Blessing, allies only, strength and allies resolve in battle, increasing their probability they will make a good hit. That'll work. And then let's do that. How come we can't do this? No use is left. You're not doing good over here either. Okay. I've got something new now. I forgot. I have um, speaks to the breathless. Dominion of the sleepers. The watcher peers into the sleeping memories of previous lives, drawing upon their power to enhance all of his or her own abilities. Okay. Interesting. Alrighty. Lots of stuff again. And up here. 
No problem. Okay. Mushrooms? Camping supply, thank you. And there is a doorway there. Okay, so we've got skirmishers. Okay, let's look at you here. Get over there. Let's go over here then. Go over here. Okay. You are who I'm trying to figure out. Where are you at? This is. That's her. There you are. Oh, that might work. Um. No, it's gonna hit too many people. Too many people. Um. He does have something else though. That's not it. He's got jolting. Oh, uh, the caster's hands become so cold. Freeze, since you're right here. What? Flash is still. What are you doing? Just go over there and attack this one. Okay. <laughs> you know, that's gonna hurt your people. Um. Bewildering spectacle. Ah, oh, so see, that's the problem. They move around and then. What are you doing? Just attack this one. I think you need to do a fireball over here. go against this one over here. You need to go after these. Okay, got rid of one. You keep attacking this one over here. There we go. Go. Oop, I found something. Uh, okay, I found this. That's what I figured it was sure. going to do. I figured that. All right. Oh, you have damage against blanked too now. You don't. Okay. Oh, half asleep, a tide of deafening whispers assails you, chipping away at your senses, at your mind's understanding of itself. Their roar is louder with each passing night, their attacks more brazen. 
less confined to your subconscious. A familiar voice bites its way through the din. Dim, the din calling out to you. So I'm kind of going nuts, huh? Hey, hey! <clears throat> you gotta stop it with that. Just about punched you to snap you out of it. You were saying things, but they weren't any words I ever heard. You were shaking so hard I thought you'd crack your spine. What happened to the bucket of cold water? <laughs> things haven't improved my mind maybe going. What would I do without a friend to punch me? And what happened to the bucket of cold water? Eater shrugs and looks away, concealing his smile poorly. Um, things haven't improved my mind maybe going. Yeah, so I noticed. I'd have woken you sooner, but I thought it'd be nice for you to be able to close your eyes a bit. Folks don't last long without sleep. No, they don't. You're twitchy these days. Reminds me of Mayerwald more than I'd like. Anything I can do, you just let me know. We're close on this one. Hang on a little longer. We'll get you fixed up. I hope so. I hope so. He wants to talk again. Are we pausing? Enemy spied where? Hope I didn't seem ungrateful back there in the battlefield. And you went out of your way. You had a lot on your mind. You had a lot on your mind. Got real close. Didn't expect that. Now for a second, I thought I was going to finally see some answers. Foolish, of course. And why should I get answers? There's a world of Aethasians out there. Don't know if their god's been blown up. Still, a man can't help looking back. True. Guess you'd know that well as anyone. Yep. He stares off, focusing on some distant thing, unseen and unrealized. I might have turned my back on my god when he needed me. That's all I'll ever know. What would your brother have to say about that? You did what you had to, even if Waywood Wei was Eothis, his actions were destructive. It does seem like you put your faith in the wrong side. He'd have brought... No, your mistake was in waiting for someone else to tell you what was right. You did what you had to do, even if Waywood was Eothis, his actions were destructive. His actions didn't seem righteous enough for a god. That's why me and Woden had Widewind figured for a pretender. It didn't occur to me that my god might actually mean to do harm to his own. Something to think about, I guess. Yep. Yep. Gods are that way, I hate to tell you that. If you believe in them, anyway. Uh, oh, there they are. Did you come up behind me? This, no. No, because I just opened this thing. Anyway, I'm going in here. Because we have stuff. Uh, what is that? It's a sword hilt. This fine metal hilt is of unknown origin, though it does not appear to have suffered much weathering. Is this part of that quest item that I was looking for? Hmm. Oh, it is. The Blade of the Endless Pass. Find more pieces. I have found a part of his shattered blade. Oh, I found an ornate hilt. Yep, it is. Okay. Fine mace, fine large shield. The Xenders have piled together coins, discarded jewelry, and battered fragments of ornamental weapons and armor. Because they don't... doesn't mean anything to them. Yes, I know we got people over here that want to fight us. Did I get in that one? Yes, I did. Dimensional shift. Does that really make a difference? My mind is not distinct. I think this is you here, isn't it? It is. Okay. You just attack him. What is this? That's me. Ha, got 
You get, okay, we got him. He didn't last long. Yeah. Okay. No problem. <clears throat> All right, this just goes around. So Yep, this is where I came in at. So we need to go in this room. Did I? Yep, I did. Okay. That opened the treasury. Okay, now I get it. Trap. She seems to be moving faster. Oop, and more traps. Okay. Time to see and not be seen. There, done. There, done. We done? Okay. It's on here. We have got a expedition log page. This appears to be a page torn from some larger text. Zelda did not make it, I know. Miri tried his best. No point in turning back now. That's what Miri is saying. I think the point is leaving these ruins alive. We have lost half of our people already, and I am not sure how we're meant to survive this place, especially with C CD gone. The gods were kinder. Let us find that study and the books there. Those tombs would fetch a good price in and of themselves. We don't need to go any further. But that seal has stirred his blood. He's sure we'll find more Igwithian relics below. Every step takes us further from a guaranteed hall and deeper into unknown territory, and I don't know what madness has gripped him. I cannot think it I cannot stop thinking about Ed um Eriga, the way she screamed. Hmm. Okay. I figured this was gonna go on further over here. Oh, that's a pool of blood or mud. Limbs and organs bob in this mire of blood and gristle. The carnage stirs with the occasional gust of wind from the tunnel above. That's disgusting. Mud smell. The corpse draped over the edge of the pool is contorted in the throes of what must have been his final agony. Rotting skeletal hands still clutch towards his throat. What killed him? Some kind of poison? Kind of my thought. Okay. They're in green. Why are they in green? Who is this? It's a drake. Okay. Eh? Let me go ahead and save. We're gonna put her, we're gonna have her. Sure. Go up and talk to it. At the edge of the expansive chamber, encircled by a jabbering host of Xanrups, stands a massive reptilian creature. Its snout is spattered with the bloody remains of a recent meal, gobbler, goblets of flesh still speared on crooked teeth, on crooked fangs, I'm sorry. The Xanrips shift anxiously, looking up expectantly at the drake as the beast stretches leathery wings in challenge, brushing the pillars to either side. Yes, yes, more sacrifice! It flaps its wings briefly and stirs up great clouds, clouds of dust. Come here, godlike! Be honored. 
Hmm. You speak? The drake stamps one clawed foot upon the ground. I speak and s stone dr shakes. I speak and lizards bring gold. I speak and eat well. Yes, I speak. Mm, these animals sacrifice to you. Are you the master below? Master below is below. Sacrifice is not very smart. You think you could see a section of the drake's skilled chest begin to glow orange as it laughs. Master made me lord here. Here I am king. Flames gout from its nostrils and gaping paw jaws. I am god of fire and gold. Okay. Master below. When it was killed, explorer on the fifth floor I encountered a maturing drake. It was this creature which was Feasting upon the sacrifice Zen reps, and it was just old enough to speak intelligently and claim that a master has, had granted it power before attacking me. Hmm. Okay. <clears throat> this might be a little bit more than we can handle, so we will see. I don't think fire is going to make any difference with this thing, is it? And you're not doing anything. You're not chanting? I don't get it. You're the one who wanted to come down here, but you're not chanting. Um, prayer against imprisonment. Instills a spirit of liberation in allies in the area of effect. Granting immunity to the paralyzed and petrified. Pure Holy Fire summons a flaming pillar of righteous anger burning everyone in the area of, of effect. That's not... I don't think that's going to ma matter on a... Um, on a dragon, right? Um, prayer against... In, okay, we already did that one. Revive the Fallen. Oh, I forgot about that. I have that. Salvation to Time. He teaches the gods for more time, extending the duration of all beneficial effects of allies in the era of choice. Um, shields of the faithful, conjure the powerful holy shield, granting a deflection bonus to allies in the affected area. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And you're turned the wrong way. Move. Um, armor of faith creates a tangible shield of faith, increasing the damage reduction of allies in the area of effect. right in the middle of everything there, obviously. Where are you at? You are too. Okay. Reckless Assault. Um, the Watcher speaks directly to the souls of his or her enemies, filling them with the dread of what weights them in the dead. Watch your peers into her to enhance all of his or her own abilities. Crystal of the soul. Creates a nullifying field of antestic magical energy around the chosen point, suppressing all beneficial effects on enemies in the area of effect. Or I can do. Um, oh, alters the perception of time for enemies in the area of effect, lowering the speed of movement. 
do that for her. Oop, I'm almost dead. Um... is dead. Okay. She's down. Down to the count. Okay. Barely injured. Barely injured. Badly injured. Okay. Nope, that isn't going to work. I'm dead there, so it doesn't matter. Okay, did that do any damage? Barely injured. So let's do the bouncing Betty. Valley injured, injured. Okay, so it moved. Oh, she she tamed it. She didn't tame it, but she converted it. Now it's okay. All right. So injured. What can you do? What can you do? One more. You can arc do arcane on it. You're dead. It's almost dead. That's what kills us there. Do one more arcane on it. Oop, we got it. Katonk. Katonk. I shall be quiet as a calm sea. Which not is you. not very quiet. All right. Sure. Oh, I'm trying to get quick on them. Anything special? Oh, look at all this stuff we got. Okay. So we killed. Oop, I saw something. Look at this. Mm hmm I see it. We got a ring, another ring. Um, ring of protection. Fortitude, reflex, wheel. <clears throat> I know I have several rings already. Um... Deflection, which probably helps, but it only compares to one side. And resolve. Resolve reflects characters' internal drive, determination, and the emotional intensity that they can project to others. It can be useful for mental intimidation, leadership, and convincing performances. Combat it helps characters. Maintain concentration and contributes to the wheel and deflection defense. Okay, what was this one? What is deflection? We got these other ones up here. That's just a ring. Oh, that's right, it's the club ring. What's this one? Suppress affliction. Ring of Unshackling. 
Also effects suspended. Oh, okay. So that's something. Probably you. Do you have two rings? No, you don't. I don't think they just do them automatic. Use them automatically either. Um, will reflex and fortitude. Fortitude resists the effect picks on the internal physical and poison disease. It is defined by the character's class level, might, and constitution reflex. <clears throat> Events allow characters to dodge out of the way of physically harmful AOE attacks, explosions. It's doomed by characters, class level, exterior perception, but also being in, in will. Yeah, I think she needs that um, over this other ring. Resolve. And you have bartender's ring, which I do like that. And deflection, that's 310. This is worth 410. I'm just moving everything around here. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Um, that's pretty good. It's worth 310. You have any rings? You don't have any rings. Well, you do now. Okay. The vague shapes of kin are visible on the coal black ash coating the brickwork. Oh, this is the stairs down. Okay. So this was the master staircase. What time is it? All right, since we're here, I'm going to go down one more level. And we're going to do that in another episode. So if you're enjoying, click like, leave a comment, subscribe. And thank you so much for watching Sahara Out.